Hi, in this video and next one, I'm going to talk about the ASUS Zen Wi-Fi XT9 mesh system. So in this video, which is the first part, I'm going to open the box, talk about its features, set it up, and then share with you my thoughts after using it for almost two weeks. But in the next video, which is the second part, I'm going to really put it to the test and then share with you more in-depth results. So make sure you subscribe for that. So on my YouTube channel and in my videos, I have talked about different ways and technologies that you can use to set up your Wi-Fi at home. For example, using wireless routers, wireless bridges, repeaters, access points, or even mesh systems. Now, sometimes I ask you to share with me in the comments what the Wi-Fi situation is in your house, which one actually you're using. So quite a few people told me that they're using the ASUS Zen Wi-Fi X-T8 and they're very happy with it. By the way, if you're one of those people who told me you had the X-T8 and you're watching this video too, say hi and I'll reply. I can remember that because I never had a chance to test that device myself, so it's always been on my mind. And that's why when ASUS reached out to me to see if I wanted to review the newer model, which is the X-T9, I said yes, of course. So a special thanks to ASUS for sending me the Zen Wi-Fi X-T9 so we can together see what exactly is going on. Is it really that good? Maybe the newer model is even better or maybe not. We're gonna try to find out but first let's talk about its features. It is a tri-band Wi-Fi 6 mesh system with each unit equipped with a 1.7 GHz quad-core processor and 512 MB of RAM. Each unit also features six internal antennas and a unique antenna placement, allowing it to deliver strong Wi-Fi with theoretical speeds of up to 7800 megabits per second. Additionally, it comes with lifetime free AI Protection Pro to ensure the privacy and protection of connected devices. The system uses ASUS AI Mesh technology for the mesh network and you can mix and match Zen Wi-Fi with AI Mesh compatible routers to create an even more powerful whole home Wi-Fi system. It also supports an expanded UNI4 spectrum, also known as the 5.9 GHz band, as a default mesh backhaul. This provides a third and clean 160 MHz channel on the 5 GHz band without any radar system interference, increasing mesh backhaul capacity to deliver more reliable and higher quality wireless network for the devices. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about this dedicated UNI4 spectrum for the backhaul. Wireless backhaul could be a real headache, especially if you use the same radio for the backhaul and for the clients. Basically, you're sharing the same radio for two different purposes, but at the same time. It's more or less like using your phone for making phone calls and taking pictures but at the same time you see this is not gonna work well especially if your network is busy this is actually a more common problem with dual band mesh system so if I have one of those and I cannot dedicate one of the bands to the backhaul then it's recommended to use a wired backhaul and use the wireless bands only for the clients but if I have a tri-band mesh system which in this video I do it is actually a Wi-Fi 6 tri-band mesh system then there's gonna be two two 5 gigahertz band and I can dedicate one of them to the backhaul and use the other one only for the clients which is good. 
except when the 5 GHz band in the backhaul and the 5 GHz band for the clients use overlapping channels. That's when they would interfere with each other, which can have a very bad effect on both of them. That's why this dedicated UNI for Spectrum for the backhaul comes in really handy. First of all, this Spectrum is only going to be used for the backhaul and not for the clients, so it won't interfere with the other 5 GHz band. It won't even interfere with radar. You might already know that radar uses the 5 GHz band so it can interfere with a portion of the 5 GHz Wi-Fi which can be a problem. If you want to know more details on this topic then feel free to check out that video. The good news though is that UNI4 does not interfere with radar. It is also using a 160 MHz channel which provides the advantage of good bandwidth for the backhaul which is always good. Alright, now let's set it up. The setup process is very easy, especially if you're using the ASUS router app, because you just need to follow simple instructions, so let's quickly do it. First, I'll make sure the distance between them at this point is somewhere between 1 and 3 meters. Then I'll power both of them on and then connect the WAN port of the one that I want to use as the main router, also known as the AI Mesh router, to the modem. The other one will automatically be the AI Mesh node. It should take a few minutes until the LED lights turn blue and that's when they're ready for setup. Now I can set up a new router in the ASUS router app. Here I need to connect the app to the main router. I can either scan the QR code of the router here or manually connect the smartphone to its default Wi-Fi. Next, I need to select a Wi-Fi name and password. This is a tri-band system, so if I want to use separate Wi-Fi's for each band, I can have three different Wi-Fi names with three different passwords. Or I can simply have all of them share the same name and password. After that, I need to choose an admin username and password for the router. This will be used every time I need to log into the router. Since I have changed the router's default Wi-Fi and password to something else, it is telling me that I should connect my smartphone to the new Wi-Fi that I have created. So I'm gonna do that. The router is pretty much ready. However, now it is setting up the AI Mesh node, which shouldn't take that long to get ready as well. When they're both ready, the LED lights should turn white. As you can see, the network diagram shows that they're both connected fine. The only thing that is left is to make sure the firmware is up to date. When I go to Insight, it shows that there is a newer version available and I can easily update the firmware here. Alright, now let's talk about my experience with it after using it for almost two weeks. So we already talked about some of its features, but as you might know, it has the ASUS WRT firmware, which comes with quite a lot of features, including some advanced ones, and I use some of them with no problem. For example, as a VPN server, it supports four different VPN protocols, and I personally use three of them quite often. It also has a dual WAN feature and I connected my phone to its USB port and set it up as a backup internet connection. I really like this dual WAN feature because it can come in really handy. There is also advanced quality of service which I used and I really like the fact that there is traditional QoS that allows you to create your very specific rules. And all the features that I just mentioned, I actually have separate videos talking about them in more detail and they're all linked in the video description in case you are interested. Now that being said, you might also be familiar with the ASUS WRT Merlin, which is a third party firmware for certain ASUS wireless routers and it comes with even more advanced features. Unfortunately though, at least at the time of making this video, the ASUS WRT Merlin does not support the Zen Wi-Fi XT9 and I'm not sure if it is going to support it or not in the future, but I can stay hopeful because it will be great for those who are interested in using even more advanced features.
And I should also mention that in the last two weeks, I have replaced my ASUS RTAX86U with the Zen Wi-Fi XT9 mesh system. And as far as the connectivity of my wired and wireless devices, uh, Wi-Fi range, Wi-Fi speed, and so on and so forth, I have not experienced any issues. But if you're looking for some real speed tests, real Wi-Fi range tests with numbers and stuff, as I said in the beginning of this video, that will all happen in the part two, which is going to be the very next video. In fact, let me know in the comments below if there is anything in particular you want me to add to that video. Maybe I can include that. But until then, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Share it if you think others might like it too. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you again and I will see you next time.